What's up you guys, so we're back with another one and as always coming at you guys with the latest and greatest on these plays. So make sure you are hitting that like button for being the way in. Let's kick things off straight away. Ticker symbol MTTR, got Matterport. Check this one out, all right? Cause it's up over 21% on close today. Now first up, make sure you guys are joining our Discord, all right? Link in the description because this is a name that we bought into weeks back over there. So the team made phenomenal returns on this one. So make sure you are tapping in, all right? now. Over over the last couple of days, I've done a couple of Metaverse videos for you guys. One was Metaverse stocks will make millionaires. Another one was why you need to buy Metaverse stocks. This is a name that featured in both of those videos, so it should be clear why. I've been pushing out a lot of content on these types of names, right? Now, for those of you guys who are new to the play, as a reminder, they create software for digital twins. That is, they could take buildings, apartments, office spaces, and put that into virtual reality. Now, why is that useful? Because the user will save time and it increases the experience. I'm gonna give you guys two examples, okay? So the first is, if you're a potential home owner, potential home buyer, you can check out the properties, do a 3D virtual tour. So it means you don't have to go to the property or look at images in a catalog or whatever the case may be. Another is if you're an insurer, you can go ahead and process those insurance claims a lot faster by just checking out the property in, virtual, in the virtual world again, rather than having to go to the property and doing inspections and that, that type of thing. So they've got a very good thing going right now. They've got th thousands of customers, but also they've made some partnerships with some heavyweights in the industry like Meta themselves, right? Formerly Facebook, and they're working on great things behind the scenes. So there's tons of potential behind this one for the longer term. Now, as I was telling you guys, I was expecting this one to push to that 30 to $31 mark in today's session right now they did one or two up on that closing up on the day just over 33 dollars right so they met my expectation and at this junction told the team over the discord i'm selling off another third of my holding i sold off a third in the high 20s sold off a third today after they made that 20 percent jump right those are returns too good to give up. I wanna lock in those returns, given the fact this is still a speculative play, so it means they're gonna pack the heat in both directions, both up and down. Now my expectation is in the very short term, that is either in tomorrow's session or the session after that, but definitely this week, I'm expecting this one to pull back, all right? Coming down to the high 20s, potentially even the mid 20s. That's my expectation. At the mid 20s, I'll revisit the play, for a potential entry after that, all right? If sentiment remains high, and if I'm gonna shoot for this one again, but there's some good long-term potential in this one. So this is one that I think should feature in the playbook, whether you're a short-term trader or whether you're a long-term investor as well, because you can play this one from many different angles and hit success, as you guys have seen, showing you guys the short-term potential in the play, but also we got that longer term potential as the metaverse itself, that ecosystem continues to build out. This is a name that is gonna be featured there, given the fact they're, they're already you know, in partnerships with heavyweights in the industry like Meta, okay? So this one is already progressing within the metaverse because they're taking the real world, pulling it into virtual reality. We're gonna need more and more of that type of software and that type of technology moving forward. So this is a name for you guys to keep on your radars. But again, shout out to those of you guys who also jumped into the play with me a couple of weeks back when I first started talking about this one and have made solid returns on the play. Let's move to the next one. Check it out, because we've got ticker symbol MU, Micron Technologies, and you guys know this is one of my favorite plays in the market right now. Solid day today, up over 3%, currently standing $86, right? So this is a strong move for the play. This is a memory chip stock, so they touch all corners of technology from the vehicle side of things, to the mobiles, to the data centers, you name it. They've got a presence and they are growing good future ahead of the name. Now, this is one that in the last session, I told you guys I was expecting them to dip down to the lower 80s. That didn't happen, right? So they had a solid day, now hovering in the upper 80s. And if they can close this week above $88, that's a very bullish move that sets themselves up for the upside, all right? to the lower 90s. This is a play that has got room to move up from these types of levels, 
given the fact that it's been lagging the rest of the industry so much over the last couple of months, and now it's a game changer. They've turned the corner and they're just exposed to the upside, right? So that's why you're seeing continuous momentum in this one. That is why I'm bringing you guys on board so you can also enjoy the upside in the, in the play. I'm expecting the heavyweights in the industry, like an Nvidia, like an AMD, that I've got big positions in, to continue pushing this industry further upwards. And the smaller names in the space, like a Micron Technologies, are still gonna show some great momentum moving forward, just led by the heavyweights, all right? So big potential behind this one. So if you guys have the opportunity to catch this one on pullbacks, in the lower 80s this week, right? If we do get some choppiness in the market, you see this one in the lower 80s, that's a good buying opportunity because the upside is so huge on this name, right? I'm expecting this one to be $100 plus in a quarter or two, right? So that's tons of upside from these types of levels. So if you guys can make some tactical entry, get them on the low, catch them on pullbacks, that's gonna set you guys up for some great things in this one moving forward. All right guys, so switching gears, ticker symbol A, B and B. That's Airbnb coming in at $180. Now I'm let you guys know, I am keeping some exposure to these type of travel reopening names, not as much as my semiconductor plays or my tech plays, for example, but albeit some exposure because they've shown in their last quarter, business is picking up and we should see that trend over the next couple of quarters. Now, yes, we do have a new variant on town shaking things up, but we've got healthcare companies which are resource rich. They've got the people, they've got the capital to create products, vaccines, to just ensure the safety of the general population. Now, we're gonna see new variants. It's something we're gonna to have to navigate and deal with but I expect the travel industry to continue to move up. So that being said, if we flip back to some of these names, like an Airbnb, I'm expecting some good gains from this one. As a matter of fact, I've got a short-term price target on this one of just over $200 by the time they release their next set of earnings, all right? So that's a good uplift from these types of levels and they can go even higher than that. Now, another one is Expedia. That's another one of my favorites within the space that I'm expecting them to continuously move up over the next couple of quarters. Now, a lot of these types of names in Airbnb and Expedia, they've cooled off, right? They've had run-ups in their stock price over the last couple of weeks or last couple of sessions. We've seen that stock price come down to more attractive entry levels before they then move to the upside, all right? So that's why I want to put them on your radars now before these types of names also get going. All right, guys, that wraps up for this one on your way out. Make sure you guys hit that like button for me, drop me down a comment below, and I catch you guys in the next one.